she would pass the joint to you or maybe yeah. pass the dab rig to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd absolutely be smoking on what she had. And, and to, not, to, not to segue into, but like that hit I took. I took one hit and I'm feeling it of the uh, GMO dry sift. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. I'm smoking it out of a uh, Pulsar atomizer. So it's like a handheld atomizer. And uh, it's basically hooked up to like an Aegis mod rig, like a vape rig. Yeah. But uh, so it's just got coils in it. But yeah, it's nice, man. Very nice. Um, what would you say that GMO sift rosin from Hazy Hill Farm smells like when you're not burning it or when it's not vaporizing? Right? Let me open this up for you and give it a whiff, yeah. Definitely garlicky. Like I said, it's just such a, <laughs> I can't help it. It's just so savory. Like, uh, uh, it's, it's a refreshment from like, not that, not to knock on fruity strains, but like, uh, Chernobyl and stuff is just so fruity and, and sour, but like, this is like, usually most marijuana now these days is all dessert. This is like the steak. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is like a plate. This is it's soup. When I smell it, it's hearty. Yeah, just that. And maybe the garlic funk that you get off it that gives it that makes me almost hungry. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. weird. But yeah, I get like super garlic smell off it when I'm not burning it. Major garlic. That just reminds me of meaty. Some fuel terps in there. Absolutely fuel, but more. I get more fuel when I burn it. Okay. When I smoke it, that's that. I feel that I get more of a fuel taste from it, right. and more of a garlic smell. So is that the only taste that you get from it is fuel or you get some more out of it? Is there, is there... No, that meatiness is in there too. The meatiness. Yeah. yeah, but more fuel when I'm, more of the chems coming through when I smoke it. Absolutely. I feel every time I smell it, I, I was like, it might just be because it, in my mind, I think garlic cookies, so it might be a placebo. But in my opinion, I get like just garlic funk and I love garlic. So I want there to be garlic there too, almost. Right, right, right. That is something, that is the part of the, premise of spontaneous combustion actually is to ask people what things smell like and taste like because you could have something that was blueberry cookies or blueberry muffin a strain yeah and you could have somebody take a whiff off it and say it smells like weed to me yeah see my wife i for a long time all right maybe it's because i sucked at growing for the first three years but for the first three years my wife was like this smells like hay and i was like Phew what you just punched me in the stomach yeah I was like what? no I, and she didn't give a shit she was like yeah it fucking smells like hey you suck <laughs> and so like it took a long ass time i think maybe eventually she just realized how offended i was and she just right. stopped saying it right. smells like hey i think i really hurt his feelings that time <laughs> or honestly because she doesn't say it smells like hey anymore she's actually fucking accurate so i think she was just nice. trying to offend my weed just to be like pff, like weed's not cool you better up your game yeah man. yeah like <laughs> honestly because now like Anything I like offer to smell her, she'll actually like hit on it. She'll be like, "Oh yeah," because she doesn't smoke marijuana. Mm -hmm. She's she smoked marijuana like twice probably. Yeah. And uh, so it's funny when I get her to smell stuff like that. Yeah. But like so, I don't know. I don't think it. It might not be what I want to be there because like uh, there's a, other strains that are super potent that people agree on what it is. But like this is garlic to me for sure, savory nice yeah salt and pepper is what i don't know no, there's no pepper to it but like it's that you know what i mean it's seasoned a seasoned steak yeah. kind of like a, yeah, yeah yeah but like a meal yeah it's very good i feel it in my eyes yeah for sure so when you're taking dabs of that how many dabs are you taking to get to the level you want to get to uh so honestly two or three hits nothing more yeah that's the, and it's not even really dabs because this, right. this doesn't like it's not it's not like a full-on dab rig right. but uh have you put it through a rig yet i have not no i probably won't honestly i'm super impressed with with how strong it is through this yeah. uh i've put straight up concentrates in this same exact setup that weren't as strong as this dry set yeah. so hats off to hazy hill for the product honestly it's actually really impressive and super tasty really smooth i was really happy with it i'm about halfway through it right now nice and like gmo is one of my favorites um it's one i've been able to grow i was lucky enough to grow and one of my favorites to grow next probably second to wedding cake because just wedding cake yields are crazy right. but like gmo the it dumps everyone wants that strange just because of the the extracts you can get off it but absolutely one of my favorites and hats off to them because i haven't been i haven't grown it myself for a, a long time now so it's good to have it back yeah, yeah. quality. Oh, sweet, man. Yeah. 
Shout out Hazy Hill Farm, you're doing it right. Yeah, thank you. How would you describe the effects on this Sith Rosin? Uh, very heady, honestly, but I can feel it in the body too. It's it's all over. I can't. I would say it's strong. <laughs> it's a strong effect, absolutely. Does it come on sudden, or does it take a little bit? Uh, no, it's probably been ten minutes now since I hit, and it's been coming on stronger. So it's one of those ones that just keeps coming on and on. No ceiling, on. you think, or this probably a ceiling, but it might. Yeah, be. there's a ceiling, but like once you're there, you you're not hitting it again for another thirty minutes. You just it's one of those ones you don't hit. You're just like oh. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. It, yeah, yeah, you go back and then you're like, and then you get back into that space of yeah. you don't need the hit. Right. Yep. It's, it's definitely a good, uh, I would say great body, great head high, great combination of both. Sweet. I actually found the same thing from, I, I got that G Mac. Yeah. That GG4 crossed with Mac 1. Yep. Uh, we lost power that night. Oh, wow. But I have like a little USB. Yeah. Uh, DVD player that plugs in so I can still watch because modern day laptops don't even have a DVD player anymore. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That sucks. Wow. You know, for us to lose power. That's weird. I know. Yeah. So. <laughs> USB external DVD drive. It's an external DVD drive. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Macintosh started that with their stupid iMacs, I think. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we went ahead and, you know, put on The Departed, my wife and I. Because it was nighttime, yep. and, you know, just a movie to watch, whatever powers out. Yeah. And proceeded to hit my Puffco Plus, loaded up with that Gorilla Mac, maybe four or five hits. Yeah. Because it doesn't come on so suddenly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But then it smacked me in the face. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, was still <laughs> the shit right now. Yeah, like, I can still feel it coming on. Like I took another hit there, and it was like I absolutely feel it. Like yeah, yeah. stronger. It's. I was like mouth open, gaping. <laughs> A few chuckles here and there, maybe some drool. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And those Puffco pens aren't like the hugest hits either. No, it's they're not, not throwing mass... clouds like that. Yeah, no, this one's a pretty big setup. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. If I run it at 25 watts. I don't know if that I, that's like. Is that a lot? Or... I don't know. I just know that's what these the max that that atomizer can oh, take. Okay. I, I 